Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to start a new series on the channel about building a Z80 computer. It will be a very simple but expandable computer. Also following this series you can find anything about the build on my website as far as schematics and more info to where you can buy any of the parts that we are going to use. The link will be down in the description. The CPU of the system as we said, it will be the Z8 CPU for storage. The system will have 32 kilobytes of RAM and 8 kilobytes of EEPROM. Here is the 32 kilobytes of RAM and here is the 8 kilobytes of EEPROM. The main goal of the system is to teach everybody uh, who builds it simple assembly language and mnemonics for Z8 basic based systems. The speed series will be split up into many videos, each one talking about a different subsystem of this computer. In this video, mainly, I am going to talk about the components that we are going to use and what are the different subsystems of the computer. So, let's go over them one by one. First and foremost, the most important thing that every computer needs is a clock circuit. The clock circuit controls the CPU that the, the speed that the CPU executes its instructions. 4 GHz or 4 billion Hz is the average speed of this, the average speed of a modern CPU. The Z80 was actually running at 4 MHz or 4 million Hz. This is actually 1000 times slower uh, than the modern CPU. For this computer, we are going to go even slower using a 400 Hz clock given by a 555 timer. Here is the 55 timer. We will configure it such as to give us 400 Hz. We want to go that slow because if the clock was going faster, we wouldn't be able to see how the CPU executes its instructions. Secondly, at the core of the system are the CPU, the RAM and the ROM. For RAM, we are going to use this 32KB static RAM chip by Cypress with a pulse number of CY7C. 199-20PC as you can see over here and for ROM we are going to use this 8 kilobyte AT28C 64-15PC by Atmel it's an EEPROM electronically erasable programmable read-only memory chip so it will be very helpful to write and erase our programs. <clears throat> so let's continue. The CPU is going to be this NEC clone of the Z80, which actually came out from a ZX Spectrum. Now we need a way to tell the RAM and the ROM when to put their contents on the bus. So we don't get bus conflicts. What I mean by con bus conflicts? If we place the RAM and the ROM at the same other space, when the CPU needs to take some information from the ROM, it will activate also the RAM. So the RAM and the ROM will give information on the bus. So we will have a bus conflict. When we want to have information from the ROM, we will have only from ROM, and when we will have, uh, we want to have information from the RAM, we will have only from RAM. So to do that, uh, for that, uh, we need a simple decoding circuit, which will be made from a 78, a 74HC138 328 decoder. Uh, that is that chip over here. Basically, we will feed that chip some address lines, and uh, 
the chip this chip will convert the address space that we gonna we are going to hardwire to it and convert to usable address space for RAM and ROM. So um now we've got the basic system done. Okay, we got the RAM, the ROM, the CPU, the clock circuit and the address decoding circuit. Now we have a running system. But uh we can't communicate with our computer because it doesn't have any IO so far. For that reason we are going to build an IO decoder using the same part as before, the 74AC138, and we will discuss the IO section later in the series. Basically, we have an octal D type flip flop such as this 74, uh, 74AC574 for an output port to blink, to blink some LEDs. The same thing I've, as, I've the, as, as I have done in my computer, the other computer. So this is my Z80 trainer, let's say it, which as you can see, it has everything that we said. It has the clock circuit, which is over here by the 555 timer, the address decoding circuit, 74HC138, the CPU which is missing right now because it's on the breadboard, the EEPROM, the RAM, and the output port. Ignore the LCD and ignore the DIP switches. Um, we will make this exact same thing for an output port for our breadboard computer. So I'm trying to replicate this on the breadboard on a series to show you how to build it. So, uh, moreover, we are going to need plenty of breadboard space to build our computer. So yes, as you can see, I've given myself plenty of room to work with. Let me zoom. Let me uh, do a little bit out. With a tripod, shaky footage, sorry for that. Yeah, as you can see, my breadboard is huge. Ignore the left part of the breadboard. Here is a 68,000 computer. Ignore this and that. We are going to build on this section. So, as I am thinking right now, um, here in the top, uh, will be the clock circuit and uh, I will maybe connect this one. This is a post display code, uh, some some kind of a post display code. I will talk about it uh, later in the series. Uh, as, well as, as I said, here will be the clock circuit, here will be the CPU with the RAM and the ROM, and here uh, I will be the output port. And maybe later in the series, uh, we will try to connect uh, serial communication chips and having maybe basic Microsoft basic running and seeing it to communicate with a computer. So um, that was the video. It, uh, it is a simple short video to um, inform you about the series. So I think the next video, the first actual video of the series on in building the computer we are going to start simple by building the um the clock circuit and uh single stepping the z80 so we will connect the clock to the z80 we'll we we will connect uh some resistors to the data bus of the z80 such as to tell it to run to execute no ops and we will connect some LEDs to the address uh, bus of the 380 so to observe the cycles so yeah that's all uh, if you like this video please like it if you have any questions please um, write them down below uh, to the comments um, uh, in the, descri the description will be 
helpful links such as uh, uh, a link to my website um, which uh, it will have more information a link to where you can buy all of these parts the breadboards the cpu the ram the rom the 555 etc and um, also a little bit of the history about the z80 and basically that so subscribe to my channel to, uh, to not uh, miss any of the following videos um yeah basically that. thank you for watching and until the next time keep working on creator computers bye